Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Journey of an Average Gamer, Mass Effect Legendary Edition, Mass Effect 2. I hope you enjoyed the journey. So far, we're on part two of this trilogy, and things just keep on unfolding for Commander Shepard. This story introduces new enemies called the Collector, and they're abducting human colonies. So you'll team up with new friends and old friends to stop the Collectors from inflicting any more horror on the galaxy. Below, I'm going to make a separate video for the Paramore because you can start a romance in this episode and you can start a new game if you want to, but you don't necessarily have to import your character. But I did import my character from Mass Effect 1, and because of who I had the romance with in Mass Effect 1, I'm not going to be able to have that romance with her in Mass Effect 2. I'm going to have to have a new romance in Part 2 and Part 3. I can either have a new romance in Part 3 or I can rekindle the Mass Effect 1 romance in Part 3. So I may do that in Part 3, start to rekindle my romance with uh, Ash. But in this one, Part 2, I'm actually going to have my romance with Jack. So I advise that whoever you're going to have your romance with, I suggest that you get them sooner and you do their loyalty sooner. So that way you can make sure that you can maintain their loyalty throughout the suicide mission. That way you'll be able to have that romance after that's done. So if you're playing on Xbox and the PlayStation, if you're trying to get uh, the achievements and the trophies, I'm going to also have a second video down so that way you can get the achievement for going through the Omega 4 relay as well as having all of your characters survive the suicide mission. So that's going to be very important because if you don't have their loyalties straight by the time you go into that Omega 4 relay or the ship upgraded, you're going to severe you're going to have casualties and you're going to have to do it all over again. I mean, play the whole game all over again because at that point in the game, you can't fix loyalty. I'm also going to put in the video a video for the Yeoman Kelly romance so in addition to having your romance with whoever you're going to have your romance with you can also have a special dinner date with uh Yeoman Kelly so if you actually see Yeoman Kelly she's actually very cute very perky but if you're not careful too with the loyalties and how you go about playing the game you'll lose out on uh having that date with Yeoman Kelly as a matter of fact in this playthrough she actually died so I didn't get that romance dinner date but I did play have the romance dinner date when it orig originally was released for the Xbox 360 console. And it's a nice little uh, scene uh, when, you, when you have your dinner date. So I'm going to put down actually a guide on how to make that as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, this walkthrough of Mass Effect Legendary Edition Mass Effect 2.